Let me take you back to 2017, before the adpocalypse ever started, and back to when both YouTube and anime weren't what they are now. Anime was still fairly niche, and far less widely accepted than it is now. It was an era when the true elitists of the culture would have to pass on their knowledge to those who wished to experience the art form. Because they knew what was good, and simply wanted to share it with those who wanted to experience it with others. All that was needed was for someone to ask the golden question. I'm still new to this whole anime thing, and I just wanted to get some recommendations. This question, as simple as it is, would open the floodgates to all kinds of people, but none more so than the trolls, goblins, and other troglodytes that hid in the dark recesses of the anime world. Ooh. Brother, ooh. But even to this day, there remains the one true king of anime that will forever live in infamy as the one that traumatized an entire generation of new anime watchers. I don't think any other anime has ever come close to the sheer level of trauma that was caused to the people who watched this and had no idea what it was before diving in. Everyone from PewDiePie and YouTubers trying to get their foot in the door, yes that includes me, and especially newcomers to the anime scene. Boku no Pico will forever be the thing that will cause you more pain than biting the curb, downing an entire salt shaker, and then drinking lemon juice. Yet somehow, watching this will always be worse. It is that bad. So not only do I have the displeasure of having yet another video in my catalog about this steaming pile, but I also have to live with the fact that my IP address is probably on an FBI watch list because of this dog shit illegal and straight up degenerate anime I'm forcing myself to talk about just because my shitty channel hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you, by the way. So without any further introduction, let's talk about what I'm sure is Diddy and Drake's favorite anime to watch in their free time. Fuck it, throw R. Kelly in there too. We all know what he's about now anyway. Going to jail! Or so you thought. Huh? What? You thought I was actually gonna make a dedicated video for fucking Boku no Pico of all things? I've stated in the past that one of the numerous things that I hate in anime is the overt sexualization of underage characters in anime. So you really thought I was gonna make a video about how a little boy got diddled by a grown man? No! Listen to me when I say this, I have more respect for the ants and worms in the dirt more than I do whoever tells people to watch Boku no Pico. You know who you are. My only message to the guy in my comments who said Boku no Pico is thank you, but also GET THE F*** OUT OF HERE! It's fucking high, so no shit I can't talk about it. In fact, even if I were to remove the bad scenes, episodes would be like five minutes long, and even then, with the moments where nothing sexual is happening, you're still going to want to bleach your fucking eyes out because of what it is. So I'm just gonna save us all the trouble and not say anything, because I remember enduring the pain of watching this shit for my channel back in 2017, and I promise you, I'm not joking when I say this. I'm not doing that again. I'm not gonna talk about this piece of media, mostly because I don't want to. But also because my ass is probably already on my way to jail for even mentioning it. So I'll leave you all with this. Thank you for 1000 subscribers, and if you see anyone mention Boku no Pico in any context whatsoever, kindly push them onto a pile of Lego bricks with their shirt off. Thank you. Super short video, I know, but considering the subject, I can't exactly talk about it. Because my channel would get bombed in an instant, and if I see any person complain about how I didn't suffer in this video, 
Shut up, or else I will find you and make you watch Boku no Pico. Do not start with me. You're telling me 